After a couple weeks of saying hello through her kitchen window that looked out onto our apartment complex courtyard, I decided to knock on her door and enter Norma's world. Mostly because I could not hear her very well through the window as she does not have the strongest voice anymore, but I was also curious to hear her story. I soon learned that she had no family of her own living here in California, was suffering from a long list of health complications, including leukemia, and just that week she had to give up her car because she lost her ability to drive. The day I entered her apartment and spoke with her face to face was the day my life was changed forever. Why does it just keep ringing? I love my Chrissy. <laughs> you love me? Yeah, I do love you. You know that. Give me a kiss right here. The last week and a half has been really hard on Norma since she now has been given direct orders from her doctor that she cannot live at home unless she has 24 hour care. She cries in terror about being sent to a county facility where she says she will just be left to die without any dignity. Mm -hmm. 